What's going on guys, my name's Connor and today I have a review for you guys on a very, very special product, something I'm really excited about. Um, this is the, actually the Eclipse backpack. It's the reverse PM for those of you guys who know Louis Vuitton pretty well. And it is just a very, very rare backpack, right? So I'm gonna be getting into all the specifics of it, um, if I think it's a good purchase. And keep in mind while I'm going out and through this all, that this is a backpack that is not really in stores. And if it is in a Louis Vuitton store, they only have like one or two of them. So it's a pretty sought after backpack and I couldn't really find any other reviews on YouTube. So hopefully you guys get some value out of this video. If you guys do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And so let's get right into it. All right guys, so this backpack is completely brand new, never worn, but I did open it one time just to make sure that everything was in there, make sure everything was authentic and good to go. But other than that, I just put it straight back in. It for sure has not been worn, so you guys will get a good look at what it looks like completely brand new. All right, so let's get straight into the unboxing. So you can see the box is pretty damn big. This is pretty. This is probably one of the bigger boxes, or if not the biggest Louis Vuitton box that I've had. But yeah, obviously it's just gonna open up right here and everything is in there let me just show you guys the receipt so you guys know i'm not viewing anything foo-foo because a lot of the louis vuitton reviews on youtube are completely fake they are all fake i will never review a fake item but like if you look at the description some of them even admit that they got them from like dhk um, which is kind of like an alibaba like from china with a bunch of like high quality fake items but here is the receipt from louis vuitton can see right here retail on this this isn't actually the receipt this is just kind of like the invoice of exactly what you paid for but the full receipt is right here you guys can see that this retailed at 3200 pretty damn expensive and this is rare this is where this sells out every single time even though it's so expensive because of how rare it is and the value in this is completely held some Louis Vuitton items um, you lose money just by buying them because the resale market is a bit lower than the retail cost. But this is a backpack that completely held its value. And it's definitely selling for really, really close to about that 3200 So you guys can see the receipt. Obviously, it's going to come in this little Louis Vuitton folder right here. Just going to put these back in really quickly. And then you guys will be able to see the actual bag itself. Um, obviously, it comes in the dust bag. As you can see pretty big dust bag for a pretty big item but very very clean obviously this hasn't gotten dirty at all hopefully not on the inside either open it up and boom you guys can see the backpack right here this is extremely sought after this is not just a good looking backpack it's an item that is very very rare and has very high um, retail and resale value so just give you guys a quick look at it. I'm beginning into every single pocket and also putting some stuff inside so you guys can see what it can hold. But just get a good look at this. Obviously the top is open. That's how the Christopher's are. And then the bottom, if you ever wanna see if a bag's been used, the first thing that I look at is the bottom. Cause obviously there would probably be scuffs or anything else right here, but it is completely brand new. Even the corners are flawless and just absolutely as crispy as it gets when it comes to a dead stock item. So let me just put this stuff over here so I can give you guys a good look at every single detail of it. And so, yeah. So obviously the top part is open, as I said, but it closes up with this top part right here. And this monogram is just called the Louis Vuitton coated canvas in the gray eclipse colorway. Um, it's about 18 inches tall, about 16 inches um, wide like this way and it's width is about like this part i don't know if it's thick or width but it's about five to six inches around there i did research on it so you guys can kind of understand the measurements of this but obviously if you want to open up the top you're going to pop these buttons out right here let me just do that gently and then boom just gonna get a good look at the inside Gonna have the Louis Vuitton logo right there, the little patch. And obviously all these are so that you can tighten it by the drawstrings, if there are some. Uh, yeah, you can tighten it up here. And then, yeah, you guys can see the inside. It also has another compartment on the inside that you unzip right here. Let me just open that up for you guys. And obviously you can put like little stuff in here. Maybe if you had something a little bit more precious or if you just wanted to hold cash in here, maybe jewelry. 
you guys can squeeze it in there and it for sure will not fall out and yeah let me just give you guys a good look at this side it's a little fold right here so if you got like i don't know maybe like your phone it's about the size of a phone this little compartment right here so if you want to put your phone in there and then your money where the where the zipper is and then maybe like a laptop and a few books in here if you're going to school or something but yeah just give you guys one last quick look at the inside um, so other than those two folders, it doesn't really look like there's much else. It's pretty open, so you can definitely fit a lot of stuff and definitely some bigger items as well. And then let me just close this part up so I can show you guys some of the outer pockets on it. And as I stated, there's a drawstring. So if you wanted to tighten the top or if you're worried about something falling out, you can obviously tighten that top part because it is open on the top, as I said. But right here, there's a couple more folders maybe this is about the size of maybe a water bottle or even maybe like um like a water jug like a really really small one you guys can see in here it's an okay size you can squeeze you can definitely squeeze a water bottle in here um probably not much more it's not the biggest but let's see let me show you guys the other one as well and on every single button right here you guys can see it does have the louis vuitton it, there's insane details on this. I tried to give you guys a quick look at it at the beginning and hopefully you guys are seeing it when I show you close up at like the pockets, but just look at the seaming on this. Look at the seaming on the bottom. It is the highest quality. There's a reason why Louis Vuitton has been so relevant for so long and that not really any other brand has surpassed it. Um, but let me show you guys the other one. As you can see, same thing, not much different. Obviously it's gonna pop off. Put another water ball in here or maybe something else that's small um i can't really think of too much that you might want to put in here it's pretty small but definitely a couple water balls if you wanted to and something about that size and the monogram is the same size the same thing overall all it is is the eclipse colorway so it's going to be darker on some parts and lighter on other parts but it's the same exact monogram and it's a little bit discontinued as you can see it's not like it's not like they did it throughout and just changed the color right here you can see that the monogram ends here and it starts over here. So it's not completely even, it's not completely on track. Um, maybe that would be a giveaway on a fake. I don't know, I haven't really looked too much into the fakes of this bag. I don't think there are too many, but yeah, just give you guys a quick look at the back. Obviously the pattern is continued right here, but if you guys didn't understand what I just meant when I said it's not continued, you guys can see that it ends right here and starts again right here. It's not completely continued as far as how the monogram goes. Give you guys a quick look at the side and yeah i'll just give it a quick try on so you guys can see obviously you're going to be able to adjust it hopefully you're able to adjust the backpack that you're paying this much for but oh yeah if you guys want to make sure it's dead stock it still has the sticker on it right here completely brand new no no scratching on any of the metals it is just completely fresh and then just try it on for you guys And boom, obviously it's going to look different full. Hopefully you guys can get a decent look at it. And then let me just put something inside so you guys can kind of see what it looks like when something is inside. Um, I actually have my laptop right here. I feel like that would be pretty perfect. Um, let's see. These are a little bit harder to undo, but that's good because it's going to keep it closed. But I have my MacBook right here. So you guys can see how it kind of, how it's kind of sized with something to compare it to. But obviously this is definitely going to fit. You could probably fit about like five to 10 of these in here. You see, there's so much more room. You could put a laptop and like I said, like books and everything else and your phone and jewelry. Um, and let's just, let me just put some stuff in so you guys can see it filled up a little bit. So I'll literally just put the dust bag inside of here. Hopefully it'll give it a little bit more full looking and make it a little bit more full looking. And then this is what I was talking about that you can adjust. You can obviously pull this out, tighten the straps, close up the top, and you should not have to worry about anything really falling out. This is not just the name brand. This is not just a brand where it's the name that represents them it's like it's the quality of the bags as well it's not like a supreme this is just 
insane quality in the back. So hopefully you guys can see it a bit better now. Try it on. And boom. You can see right here. You guys can kind of get a good look. And the other side as well. You guys can get a good look at it. And boom. It's a very, very beautiful bag. Very, very high quality. Um, this is something where I don't know if I would keep it. I actually have a buyer on this. I bought this. I always tell you guys what I buy it for and what I plan to sell it for. I got a really, really good deal on this. I got it for 2000 bucks, 1900 to be exact. 2000 bucks for this is an insane price. I already have a buyer that wants to pay about 2,900 to 3000, but I'll probably end up selling it. I have a couple other bags. I'm going to do a couple reviews on, but this is just an amazing bag and if it wasn't like a three thousand dollar bag and if i didn't have that just thousand dollar profit just looking me in the eye i might consider keeping i might consider undead stocking it but at this point i think i should just take my thousand dollars and run and maybe look to get another one because obviously i get good prices on all my stuff and i see this in every single video if you guys are subscribed to me if you guys like the items that i have and you guys are like damn he gets pretty good prices then Feel free to hit me up on Instagram at Connor.Langley and I will hook you guys up for completely free. I don't even need to make a commission off any of this stuff. I'm happy to support the people that are supporting me. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to reach out and make sure to let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or opinion on this bag. Is it kind of like overhyped? Um, is it not worth the $3,000? What do you guys think? What else do you guys want to see on my channel? Just let me know down in the comments. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. And I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. They're not the easiest to put out. So again, I really want to emphasize you guys subscribing and you guys watching my videos and liking them. It really helps me out because it is not the easiest to just have $3,000 bags come in and just review them. Like it's not just, it's not really like that. It's, it's not easy. And I hope that you guys can appreciate the effort that I'm putting into these videos because if I really wanted to, I can just advertise my channel and get a bunch of views for this $3,000, but I really want to get, bring you guys like some high quality stuff, which is why I'm reviewing so much and why I'm showing you guys these really hard to get items. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. And I'll see you guys in the next one next week.